right. First meeting's in 10. Shall get. You're fired. Chug. Start at the beginning. I want to find my son, but they wouldn't tell me who adopted him. There are lizards wearing human skins and taking over the government. They threaten my wife if I blow the whistle, but their products are making people sick. Someone's trying to kill me because I have powers, but they haven't caught up to me yet. Thanks to my super speed. I want to meet my son before I die. <laughs> I need more proof before I come forward. You have to stop the dinosaur people. They already got Jay-Z. My superhero name? The kids in school used to call me the Wizard. I bet they did. Why don't you take a lap around the block? I'll time you. I can only speed when I'm scared. Uh, I'm a fear-based hero. Sorry, Wizard. There is a Quinjet approaching, and our Wakandan contingent is reporting. The remaining Avengers must have survived. Divert them to Washington. I want them to witness this. Well, at least we know they're scrolls, right? Hey everybody, it's Charlie, your friendly neighborhood Jessica Jones dropping all kinds of Avengers Easter eggs. So this is only going to be for the first episode, just careful for spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. But because these are just Easter eggs, they're not necessarily spoiling anything big from the series, so no worries. If you're finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's going to be a bunch more Marvel and Infinity War stuff posting in the next couple of days too. So there's really like a couple different things going on here. There's some secret invasion. There's some Quicksilver, and then there's the Spider-Man stuff, which sort of tangentially ties in with Secret Invasion because of what happened with those characters in the comics. But given the current state of politics in the United States right now, they probably dropped one of the most meta Easter eggs ever. So this is in the same breath trying to make fun of the current U.S. government and also tip the hat to scrolls, lizards wearing human skins. So in the comics, there were a couple really big comic arcs, one right after the other, starting with Civil War and superhero registration. The Sokovia Accords. So what happened in the wake of that is it destabilized the entire world, leaving it ripe for invasion from the scrolls, which were just biding their time, impersonating the heroes. So you wind up with all kinds of heroes running around and you don't know who you can trust because some of them might secretly be scrolls. One of them was Jessica Jones. She was actually a scroll during Secret Invasion, but it was one who was wearing her classic jewel Avengers costume from back when she was on the original Avengers team. The whole thing about Civil War is that she had been married to Luke Cage. They'd had their baby girl, Danielle, who actually eventually would go on to become the new Captain America when she was old enough. The, the whole funny joke about that is that she had Luke Cage's unbreakable skin and super strength. So she would joke about the fact that she didn't even need the shield. Like she herself, her body was the shield because she's so unbreakable. You can't burn me. You can't blast me. And you definitely can't break me. I ain't no joke. But Jessica Jones and Luke Cage have a big falling out over superhero registration during Civil War. So she bails, joins the new Avengers, and starts living at Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum. Then later, Secret Invasion happens. She's reunited with Luke Cage. Their baby gets stolen by a scroll that's impersonating Jarvis. Remember, in the comics, Jarvis is an actual person. He's not just an AI like he is in the movies. Norman Osborn helps them rescue that baby, then eventually, because Peter Parker is also one of the new Avengers, during the Dark Reign storyline, he reveals his identity to them, and Jessica finds out that a person she used to go to high school with has been Spider-Man this whole time. Because every once in a while during season one and season two of Jessica Jones, they make little Spider-Man references, because in the comics, they both went to Midtown High. So, you got detention. You screwed up. You know what you did was wrong. The question is, how are you going to make things right? Maybe you were trying to be cool. But take it from a guy who's been frozen for 65 years. The only way to really be cool is to follow the rules. So in the comics, Spider-Man knew Jessica Jones before she got her powers after that big accident that killed her family. So obviously, season two of Jessica Jones is all about addressing that. But in the comics, there's just a much closer association between those two characters. 
As you guys probably know, the MCU version of the Skrulls are going to be introduced for the first time during the Captain Marvel movie. Now that's set back during the 90s, sort of laying groundwork for future secret invasion storylines if they want to do them. They haven't confirmed any of that, but I wouldn't be surprised if they work in the idea that at least one character that we've been seeing this whole time turns out to be a Skrull. But that's not something that I expect to get any kind of teasers for until we get to the Captain Marvel movie, and that's not going to be till next year. So the Quicksilver wizard joke is the whole idea is that he has super speed. Obviously, it's a big part of the series, so I don't want to get into too big of spoilers about how his character is tied to the Jessica Jones character within the context of the series. But he's just sort of a discount version of Quicksilver that crossed paths with them and eventually was killed in the comics. He's just this really minor character, just someone for the TV show they wanted to use in a really funny, interesting way. So, I know a lot of you have asked, is Quicksilver going to come back during the Avengers films? I feel like this is about as close as we're going to get to real Quicksilver on screen. Because there's already way too many characters during Infinity War. For them to cram Quicksilver in would just be weird. Like, it would have to be a vision or a memory that Scarlet Witch has of him. Some sort of illusion that doesn't completely roll back her entire character arc. Because a lot of where she is now is because of the death of her brother. So, she's grown a lot as a person. To bring him back would be like bringing Coulson back. It would completely undercut the whole purpose of their death. So if you guys didn't see it, I actually just posted a video explaining Thanos' new backstory during Infinity War. They've changed some of the Infinity Gauntlet story, the reason why he wants to assemble the gauntlet, and why he wants to change the universe. And unsurprisingly, it actually does a really cool job of turning a really cool moment from an earlier film in Guardians of the Galaxy into a much bigger part of Thanos' backstory during Infinity War. These stones, it seems, can only be brandished by beings of extraordinary strength. Observe. These carriers can use this stone to mow down entire civilizations like wheat in a field. There's a little pea coming out of me right now. So think about Eson the Searcher, the Celestial, destroying that planet with the power gem and Thanos being upset about the death of his people when you watch that Infinity War video that I just posted. It's sort of the same thing that Kevin Feige did when Spider-Man Homecoming happened, and then retroactively they turned this Iron Man 2 little kid into Peter Parker. Like, oh yeah, even though we didn't think that we would ever get the Spider-Man character, we're gonna say now, retroactively, that kid was Peter Parker, dressed up as Iron Man, being inspired by all this crazy stuff that was going on so long ago. But what'll happen is, is in the next couple of days, I'll post my non-spoilery review of the entire season of Jessica Jones, and then obviously there's a whole bunch of new Infinity War coming soon too. So click here for that brand new Infinity War preview and learn about Thanos' new backstory, and click here for more Avengers Infinity War promos. Thank you so much for watching, everybody stay awesome, I'll see you guys tonight.